Don't fall, okay? If you fall, it's if you fall, it's going in the vlog. I know I saw that, it threw me off, I was like, she tapped the screen. Hey, hey, so I'm downtown here with a bunch of friends and we are gonna do uh, a photo shoot. Um, I particularly chose this time of day when the sun is setting because I wanted to get more of that soft sunset light, but also I wanted to transition into doing some night photography. So I'm um, balancing um, flash with available light. So come along and I'm gonna show you a couple things as I go through about how to uh, get that night photography look. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Sunglasses on. That's a good question, right? I started with them. Work it. lens seems to be uh, made for dropping. Flashback to when it fell, was it four weeks ago? Insert an Instagram video here. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> So now what I'm doing is exposing for the background so we can get uh, the background exposed well and then we'll put some light on her to fill in. Dedicated to his craft. Lying on the sugar sand. Also, look at all these people like staring at us. Like, oh this, this a little bit higher. There you go. How does it? How do you do it? Like when people. He tells me what to do. <laughs> do you feel? Do you feel? What about when people are like? Walking by and they stare at you. I don't care. I look beautiful anyway. You do. You do. <laughs> it's fun. Who cares about what I'm doing? That's good life advice, Dan. Right? Listen good to the therapist. Who cares what other people think? Yeah, you do just you. have fun. Live in the moment. Be you and be beautiful. The more you believe in yourself, the more beautiful you are. And doing photo shots definitely help with that. Improve your self esteem. Consider that. Therapy. Good therapy. <laughs> When you uh, shoot in the night, 
It's very helpful to get a lens that has a, a wide aperture. Uh, so obviously the, the lower the number, the bigger the aperture and the more light you get let in. So try to use uh, lenses that um, have a faster aperture. I'm using a, a Sigma 85 1.4, that's a very wide aperture. Um, Reva's on a 50 millimeter 1.8, and so those are kind of like what we're using right now. Before she was on a, a 24-105, and that just, that just died after a while. F4 was just not enough light, so um, it's really helpful to get um, lenses that have wide apertures. If you don't have a lot of money, start with a 50 millimeter 1.8. It's really cheap. Um, you can use uh, things with lower apertures too, but you're going to need a lot more light. So if you have a flash, it's not going to be a problem. But um, one of the other benefits of having a low aperture is to just have uh, the background blurred out. And so I'm going to try to get some of that blurred out look in the background with the lights and, and kind of play with that and create some creative shots. So they went somewhere and they took the glasses and they laughed at them, their only dollar store glasses. Then they were walking around with a bridge, a towel, all kinds of things coming out of those glasses. Okay. What are you doing? Huh? What were you doing? I'm trying to communicate to them across the street. So it's using the phone, you know. Had to. Okay, we're good. If you guess. 10.31 in the comments, you win. All right guys, thank you for coming along our night photography shoot. I hope these tips were useful to you and uh, you got some inspiration. Uh, tag me in your uh, photos where you use these uh, techniques. And uh, if you liked it, like. If you want to see more, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. I have seen you in so many of Ryan's pictures and I didn't know that you guys are related. I thought you were just some random guy <laughs> that <laughs> like messaged Ryan. He just laughed. Yeah.